everyone. This is my first time doing my voice, this is so weird. But anyways, I'm going to do a tutorial on how I make edits. And that's it. And I'm, I'll like talk about it. Because all the tutorials I've seen, they only like write the words, so you have to read it. But I thought I'd voice it because, you know, I want to do that. So first, you go into Pinterest and you need to pick the photo you were going to edit. I'm using my iPad because it's a bigger screen and it's just easier. It takes me so long to pick the pictures, I apologise. Oh, he's from Records of Youth. Everyone should watch Records of Youth, it's so good. I mean, I haven't actually watched like the last episode, but the start was good, so... Wait, Jenny. Okay, this Jenny photo is cute. I'll do this one. So you Yep. I've already got a thing open in Procreate and I'm just going to insert the photo. I'm going to make it more zoomed in my face because I can't do the rest of the body. I duplicate the layer. And then I'm going to smudge with the smudge tool. And that's pretty much it for this. It, and I'll be back once I finish smudging. When you're smudging, try and get all the pixels away, if that makes sense. So it looks better and looks like a digital painting, even though it's not. But it's an edit. Go into detail, make the bush smaller for like smaller places like the eyes, nose and lips. Don't forget them areas. It's like for the nose, I'm going to get rid of the nose piercing as well and put it back afterwards. I like you see how it's like kind of pixelated. You just carry on. <laughs> Sometimes I get emotional, got me in a state of mind so confused. How I'm hiding in a little bone in my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to I'm not going to be able to do it. Break it, break it, break it 
break it down. 그냥 break it, break it, break it down. 전부 break it, break it, break it down. 그냥 때려쳐. And 제대로도 해보지도 않았으면서. One smudge in the hair, make sure you go in the direction of the hair, like this. Now all the smudging is done, I'm going to select a background colour which I think I'm going to take from this shirt so it like matches and get a paintbrush, a round brush or whatever make a new layer and basically trace around the person you are editing and then once you've done that you fill it in and it makes a background I am now smudging the parts that I've missed. Now I am adding a new layer. Set it to multiply and select the skin colour and get a airbrush. And I'm basically just adding shadows. No, they're not proper shadows, just like contour. Yeah, contour like in makeup. I make it quite dark, but then I lower the opacity. So I'm on the forehead, chest, mm -hmm. make it smaller, on the edges of the nose, eyes, and then I going to Gaussian blur, soften the edges, and then lower the, I can't see it, <laughs> lower the opacity and just add some more, just make some more tanned. And then after that you make another new layer, hit to multiply, get a hard brush of some sort, and now we're going to refine the areas, like the edges of the nose and etc. And I'll be back once that's done. I'm now adding details to the eyebrows on the same layer. Now I'm adding eyeliner, same layer as the eyebrows and the defining to add make her more cartoony, I guess. Can you break it, break it, 
break it down. Yeah. Just break it, break it, break it down. 그냥 집어쳐, 그냥 집어쳐. I'm easy gonna add lashes. Break it down. 그냥 break it, break it, break it down. Just break it, break it, break it down. 그냥 때려쳐. Now I'm adding a new layer, making it multiply again. I'm gonna get reddish colour and then add blush and etc. Using an airbrush. So I'll make it quite dense on the puzzle cheeks and mainly on the eye area and some on the nose to make her look cute. Oh. And then again, go. Soften the edges of gushing blue, and then adjust the opacity to your liking. And now, add a new one. Now I'm going to make an add layer. Actually, now I'm going to make an add layer and add some glitter onto the cheeks. Okay, then I'm gonna add another layer and highlights, I guess, again. Add and get I'm using this brush on the tip of the nose and then smudge it to make it go along. On the especially the inner corners of the eyes, that's the main bit. And on the left side of her face, I'm gonna do highlights all the way around to soften it, it's like like this. I'm just going back to refine more areas because I forgot to do the fingers and the ice cream. I'm also going to add back her nose piercing because I took it out so I need to kind of put it back, you know. <laughs> Now for the hair, I'm going to make another layer and set it to multiply and I basically add lots of different colours into it so I'll add some of the pink from the stuff I put on the cheeks get an airbrush and add some of that to it as well as probably some yellow 
not too much though because her hair's dark. If you have lighter hair, if you have lighter hair on the person you are editing, it will look better. <laughs> Now I make another new layer and set it to add and again I'm going to select the colour from the cheeks and I'm going to get a hairbrush and just do random strokes like this it doesn't matter if they're straight or not I'm just in the hair so like this I think that's all I'm going to add and then I get a strand brush or like any hard brush set it to white and just put it on like the fronts of the hair to add I don't know just strands I guess don't make it too complicated otherwise it looks not as good I'm not sure Add some on the. Mm. Should I add some there? Yeah, go on and I'll add some there. And that's pretty much the hair. Hair takes like two seconds. And now for the background, I'm going to add clipping mask and select this pink colour again. Get an airbrush. and like at this colour in London places as well as this yellow from the dress I'm going to get and then I'm going to gushy and blow it a bit to make it blend more I think that's all I'm going to do and then add another layer <laughs> And I'm going to put a pinkish colour over it, like this, and then basically go for the blending modes and see which one looks the best. I normally go with... Mm, screen? maybe and then lighten the opacity there we go now finally i'll add one last layer set it to add maybe have an airbrush and just swipe on random areas to blend it all in Obviously lower the opacity so it's not as bright. And that's it. This edit took not that long. You can do it too. I'm sorry if I'm being quiet. Um, I don't want my parents to hear me. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please comment, like, subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, but you can. And yeah, bye bye.